G'day, I'm Andrew, a strength conditioning coach here at the Queensland Academy of Sport. Today I've been doing some uh, hamstring testing, some Nord board testing in our lovely machine. Um, we've been doing it on the Gary Bourne's jump squad. Um, we've been looking for some differences, bilateral differences left to right, and we're looking to see how they respond to to training, so today some of the jumpers were a little down after a heavy bounding session and all the jumpers that were good, um, they had good scores today, basically ran yesterday, so we're trying to track those for over time. Uh, I'm Gary Bourne, uh, Athletics Australia's Senior Jumps Coach and uh, Head Jumps Coach here at the Queensland Academy of Sport uh, where we have the National Jumps Program. Um, we utilise uh, a piece of equipment here in our training which is uh, called the Nord Board. Uh, it was developed by Dr Tony Shield and Dr David Opar from Queensland uh, University of Technology. And we're working uh, in some projects with uh, Tony uh, at the moment and with uh, Matt Bourne who's doing his PB, uh, PhD uh, at QUT at the moment. So the Nord board measures, was developed to measure hamstring strength uh, and the reason that it was developed is because hamstring injuries are the most common injury uh, in track and field uh, and in most overground running sports. So it, me it measures, it has two uh, units here to put your feet through and load cells that uh, attach to those and that's connected through a wireless connector to the uh, receiver to the uh, computer and the athletes kneel on that and they do an eccentric uh, uh, hamstring curl so they only do it in one direction and uh, it measures maximum hamstring uh, strength and so uh, higher levels of hamstring strength have been shown through the research that's been done by uh, Dr Shield and Dr Opar to reduce the risk of injury in, in the overground running. So it's important that we do that. So we monitor our athletes all the way through. Uh, we've had almost no incidents of, of hamstring injury. While athletes have been doing these exercises, we've had none across the three or four year period now. So uh, it's been very useful for us um, and very useful for the athletes. And, um, uh, it, we, we're collecting data that's being fed back into the research done by uh, Matt and uh, Tony at uh, QUT at the moment to look at um, how that affects or if we did have an incident of ham hamstring injury, what the data was looking like in the lead up to that hamstring injury. So some of the people using the Nord board around Australia at the moment are testing on a weekly basis and it's becoming... Uh, the data coming out here is starting to show it's predictive of future hamstring injuries as well. So uh, basically that's... I uh, know it's not the only board in existence. Uh, this is a prototype, just a temporary uh, one that was developed by a uh, technology expert at QUT in conjunction with Tony and uh, David. And uh, there are several of them around the country at the moment. I think there are about seven in AFL clubs and Matt tests a number of other areas. They test uh, in the National Soccer Program, National, soccer, National League Soccer, uh, also in Rugby League Clubs, Rugby Union, um, and some other AFL stuff as well. So uh, the board goes into commercial production this year and should be available uh, by the end of the year.